so uh, hi guys in this video we're gonna have a look in how to uh, import green screenshots into blender and we will do everything within blender we're not going to any other software we will first remove the background then import it into a CG environment so it's pretty easy uh, let's begin it uh, okay so this is the default scene just jump into compositing use node and delete the scene add add an output input which is a movie clip and now uh, add another node which is output and a weaver node connect it to the weaver and also to the composite now click open to open up your footage so i will put the link in the description you can also check this uh, footage you know okay so this is actually the footage and now i hit shift a add a king node to here and then select this color and select the green color yeah it works and it's faster now set collect connect these with the output node and that's it now it's time to just set up some rendering setting to actually export this shot without a background so left it at ev just change the sample red to one because it's just a 2d footage and now come to output settings select uh, png and rgba make sure that rgba is selected now select a location so i'm selecting this location actually create a new folder name it something like png and uh, select it and accept make sure to turn on rgba and now what you need to do first save the file because we will not lose anything and so blender file now you can hit a render animation to actually render out the animation it's not animation it's just a footage without a background okay so it's done and now open up another scene uh the scene that i'm using is totally free i'll put the link in the description to the same scene you can also use it for free okay so this is the main scene that we're using and now uh, we need to uh, import the footage before importing it let me just add a camera and uh, camera to view and then let's just fix uh, the view of the camera and now what we have is just a small room with some books around i'm just aligning the camera perfectly okay just move it and also decrease the focal length to have a wide angle okay so now uh, what you need to do uh, you need to uh, first add a plan so hit shift a if you add this as an images as plan then every png will create it separately and it will not be in sequence so that's why we're just making a plan rotate it on x-axis 90 degree now scale it or maybe move it uh, scale it on x-axis and that's okay and now open up a new window go ahead to shadow editor and hit new and now what you need to do you need to add a texture which is an image sequence texture open up the png sequence that we exported before select all of the images or pngs that we just exported from the compositor add it to here and now connect the color with the color and uh, select cyclic and refresh okay and connect the alpha with the alpha nothing happens because it's ev for ev just come to material change the blending mode to alpha blend to actually remove the background in ev in cycles it you don't need to change it any blending mode or something but you have to change it in ev okay so now uh let's just uh make the camera like this and now scale this guy up because uh make sure to have a perfect size or you know scale okay so just grab it on x-axis and now i think that's perfect just move it slightly uh, and from one angle it is pretty perfect to go for it and uh, yeah that's okay just align it wherever you want 
and that's okay now if you play it it's perfectly happening and you can use the same trick for very complicated scenes that you want to add your character to and that's pretty easy we just use blender and in the future i'm making another tutorial on visual effects in blender which include tracking within blender motion tracking camera tracking and other stuff all in blender for the next tutorial we're not going to any other software like after effects okay so just scale it and yeah that's okay and that's fine you can just tweak around the settings maybe the light light setup and other stuff and this trick is used in many cases like adding your character to a studio or maybe a scene a huge scene or you don't want to mask a thing while compositing the final shot and you just want to add it into a cg environment and it does look really great so you can also add lights to actually match up the scene but i'm not doing it right now because this tutorial is not about lighting so you can follow another tutorial to actually get the good results so thanks for watching consider subscribe and yeah uh stay tuned for the next one